us. Good morning, everyone. Hope you are doing well. This is Chicho, and today is October 30th, 2020, and we're doing a comic book reading. We got day one of two, possibly three days. I might do another one on Sunday as well. Today is Friday, and we're doing a Halloween special. We're going to read the uh, horror, uh, basically horror, <laughs> horror science fiction comic books. And I sort of went crazy. Last couple of days, I went through some boxes and pulled out a selection of comic books to read uh, in relation to like horror, ghost, witch, wizards, and whatnot uh, type of comic books. And I pulled out too many. I... <laughs> I left a lot in the boxes. Hello, Bartoliani. How are you doing? I hope I'm starting to pronounce your name correctly. Bartoliani. Hello, Bartoliani. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. I hope you're having a fantastic Friday. Uh, so I pulled out a... Yeah, no problem, Chicho. Awesome. Awesome. Glad to hear. Uh, I pulled out a few different comic books spanning from the golden age of comics from the 1950s, 1940s, possibly, 1940s maybe, all the way to the present. So we got the Golden Age, Silver Age, Bronze Age, Copper Age, Modern Age comics. And I couldn't make up my mind. Lions, how are you doing? And I'll give everyone an intro, uh, what we have here. As soon as uh, we wait until people, uh, for people to roll in, Noah, Noah Ian. Hi, I'm new to the stream, but I watch the YouTube videos to sleep every night. Awesome. So thanks for seeing. My pleasure. I hope you're having a fantastic dreams. And if you end up watching these ones before you go to sleep, I hope you have ghoulish dreams because we're going to read ghoulish comic books. <laughs> you just saved me from the Who daily stream. Oh, WH. Oh, God. Don't watch those, Elder God. <laughs> Gang, let me give my intro uh, before everybody rolls in. So that's added away, and I'll give you guys uh, sort of a intro as to what what we got here. I'm doing good. Lion says I have the stream on the side while I work work out. How's things? Things are going well, man. Things are going well. We're well into this set of uh, live streams. We announced that we've done some amazing live streams. Enjoying it very much. So I'm um, I'm having a good time with things. I'm having a good time with things gang i am on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o if you want to follow this work if you want to support this work if you want to know what this work is about patreon is a fantastic we do way to do so i don't put anything behind paywalls everything creative commons share and share a like for those of you who've been supporting this work through patreon for a number of years now thank you very much for your support it is in large part because of your support that we're able to do this Okay, so appreciate it very much. Uh, Carlos, how are you doing? Good morning, Chicho. How are we doing today? How was breakfast? My breakfast was fantastic. Had yogurt with cereal with autumn olives, apples, banana. Uh, I forgot to put hemp seeds in there, but I put the walnuts in there. A uh, little bit of dash of maple syrup. Power food, right? Well, I eat that, it keeps me going until late afternoon. It's very good. I like a good breakfast, man. I like a good breakfast lift heavy get pumped <laughs> elder god says we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv forward for slash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e if you want to participate in the chat right here twitch is where you want to be at right right there <laughs> okay and for those of you who've been supporting this work through twitch uh supporting following being here uh participating in the discussion uh getting involved in this course thank you very much for the support no important question what's your favorite type of apple oh do i like all of them and that's the thing I've, I've met people that say oh i like this type of apple i like this type of apple for me i it, it really i just love fruit so i eat all of them <laughs> i don't i you know what let me rephr rephrase my best favorite of apple jam is crab apple jam crab apple butter that we make you like granny apples yeah a lot of people like granny a lot of people like uh, gala as well gala apples and whatnot just done my arms lion says about to hit my chest and shoulders pumped already nice nice 
and you do switch lines between uh, you do top and you do legs you have a leg day and you have a upper body day or do you do legs and upper body at the same time for me I learned that if you do legs at the same time as upper body a little bit at least push it you get 20% more power uh, in your workouts because the most of your power comes from your legs right it should anyway the Welsh Dragon 2000 have you read any issues of nail biter great horror you know what I have some of it I haven't I might have read it when it first came out that's Jason Aaron I believe isn't it and it came out in 2013 nail biter I, I might have read one of the issues and I collected a few of them but I didn't continue reading it Felix how are you doing how's going Chicho and Chad happy Halloween happy Halloween early Halloween by the time the video is loaded on YouTube it'll be sure to be Halloween crap apple jam sounds amazing it is amazing I have a whole playlist on YouTube showing how to make crab apple jam <laughs> that's how much I loved it I do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on hello minds BK parlor gap and Twitter and you can follow the work there if you like we do share some additional content as well for live streams when we don't have any visuals involved which we do right now when we just open discussions we do upload those live streams to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho as podcasts and they should be available on your favorite podcasting platform please chicho no decap decapitats in this comic reading Decapitates. I have some comics with some decapitations on it. I think that's what you're talking about. And we will be uploading this video both to BitChute and YouTube. Okay, comic book readings all over, unless we get into some serious sensitive comic books, which will only load to BitChute, but we haven't yet. Uh, there's a comic book here which might fit that category. Um, but I don't think I'm even going to show it on Twitch. I'm just going to mention it, show part of it. Uh, okay. Uh, aside from that, gang, uh, welcome. Uh, I hope you guys are having a fantastic Friday. I've been looking forward to, uh, to these sets of streams. Um, I'm assuming notifications has gone out. Um, I'm hoping anyway they've gone out on both Discord and uh, Twitch. Doop. Let me see. Um, so we're on the low end <laughs> way low end of how many people are here so I'm not sure if the notifications have gone out but let me show you guys just twitch I think just twitch okay so discord didn't go out so no matter what we're gonna continue doing our thing so let me turn off take these guys down I show you what I got and look what I ended up doing was I went through took me a couple of days I went through a whole bunch of comic book boxes and I start pulling out horror Halloween related theme comic books and I pulled out way too many okay I got about a short comic book box about three quarters of a short comic book box so it's up to you guys what we read I didn't prep the history of the books that I was gonna read or anything and we could run a poll okay I uh, um, what do you call it uh, uh, do we have enough for elder gods here I'll, the, maybe we could run a poll I'm not 100% sure I could set it up as well okay um, but we can just decide which one to read now the question I want to ask you guys is do you guys want to read old uh, horror comics or do you want to read do you want golden age do you want uh, silver age do you want copper age bronze age modern age Rahan evening Chicho went to your stream for some Friday energy never feel fail to deliver energy gonna pop uh, pop a beer and enjoy the read awesome Ron I hope you enjoy no discord is uh, as well but I didn't get a notification okay golden age golden age let okay let me show you let me show you some of the some of the books because if we're gonna do we're gonna do one reading today and we're gonna do one reading tomorrow we might do another reading on Sunday it depends uh, I got a, a whole bunch of stuff I gotta take care of but since I have this whole system set up maybe we'll get a chance to do one as well crack afternoon all what do we got today crack brother I pulled out a whole bunch of comic books of <laughs> horror related comic books I am on an old phone uh, so can't do a poll okay we maybe if there isn't enough people I'll just ask and see how it goes so take a look at this gang <laughs> here is 
here's a set of comics from uh, the 1990s okay mm -hmm. twisted tales mm -hmm. and there's some bernie Wrightson artwork here so we got uh and i have number one of this but it's framed i i this series is fantastic we can number poll in chat yeah we can number poll in chat so i have books from the you know pacific press pacific comics from the 1990s okay severed heads right off the go <laughs> okay dinosaur like i like this cover i love this cover pacific comics very nice yeah these are amazing i have number one of this an alien something framed right beside each other twisted tales number one and alien uh encounters i think number one all right i got two copies of these decapitations all right you got monster all right eduardo we got someone getting ready to make some sausages <laughs> it is halloween alien worlds thank you very much crack all right zombie taking a maiden away right so we can read one of these twisted tales keep that in mind okay what's halloween uh without aliens and predators ding bobber chicho you should post render your audio before before or uh, your sound crowd not that it sounds bad but you uh you could add a filter with resonance to enhance the basics are just an idea you know what i do run it through uh, uh this is dark horse comics presents 36 there's two different var uh, variation copies i do run it through uh adobe and i do run a filter on a thing bobber i run a denoiser and a eq filter i haven't run a resonance filter on it okay uh just the ones we record on the lapel mic i these ones where i'm not recording with a lapel mic i'm not i'm not uh uploading the audio uh death battle by kitchen sink comics okay this is more recent we got hellblazer and hellblazer number nine and number ten and if you want we could read hellblazer number nine um hellblazer john constantine fantastic and i picked this one because it's got uh some shenanigans with the royal family going on so it's relevant for our times okay. we got dark red from aftershock comics this is new recent but all of these are new okay and dark arc from aftershock comics as well so as you know i do buy independent comic books which i like okay. so there's these guys i got one free comic book they want death rattle crack there is a first volume of that which was only three issues that's well worth checking out is it okay cool so we got what well, and here's a free comic book day one right from vault comics and you can pick up uh if you go to a comic book store you can pick up comic books on the on the cheap or free if they're given away right so death rattle let's put this out horror to die for check this out it says horror to die for mark nelson tim l eldred and uh with new mark schultz right so far my vote is with aftershock comics i don't know these at all but i like aftershock yeah aftershock is fantastic i have a couple more aftershocks as well now okay here since we're on the new part Oh, here's these ones i'm going to show you these ones as well so these ones are modern okay here's dark arc again another cover and this is the dark arc story this one and this cover where is it so this is number one from both uh dark arc from aftershock comics and this story arc is uh about you know noah's ark flood and whatnot where noah's ark you know god told noah's ark void let's go noah's ark uh, to build noah's ark and save the creatures of the planet this is about uh the floods happening and i believe the devil telling someone to build an ark to save all the 
evil creatures of the planet, right? So an evil Noah's Ark. Love that dark Ark cover, the red one. Yeah, this one's fantastic. Really beautiful cover. Okay. This one we're not going to read. I've read this one. This is way too mature. Malefic. Okay. This is uh, this won't fly on uh, on Twitch. Okay. But it is a good read. Okay. Independent from uh, Devil's Do first comics okay so i just sh brought this out just to show you guys okay uh mature much mature okay this is it eats what feeds it number one from scout comics it eats what feeds it Rawr. wow that sounds killer chicho colin bon is the writer of dark arc yeah i know where my boy is going okay i'm gonna put that one on the side uh, this is a reprint of uh, EC Comics Twisted Tales. Two, uh, sorry, Two Fisted Tales. Okay, and this reprint was from the uh, da, 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 1990s, I believe. Okay, I I found a couple of the my EC Comics, the older ones, but we've read parts of the stories from there, and I didn't want to check to see what we'd read, what we didn't read, and I didn't hit the other EC Comics that I have, so I just grabbed the reprint one this is been fantastic okay donnie kate's uh baby two baby teeth okay this again is from aftershock comics happy friday everyone cheryl how are you doing this is uh, uh donnie kate's aftershock comics again i've read uh, some aftershock comics and i love what they're putting out more mature more uh they're deep they're they're pretty good aftershock comics is um, the darker side of image <laughs> right so it's mature and this story it's it's a it's pretty cool it's pretty cool okay it's pretty cool it's uh biblical as well okay and then again aftershock comics back black eyed kids and i grabbed the first two issues and i've read this series up to issue num number 15 or so and i like this series this is one of the first sort of darker uh, aftershock comics that came out. Black Eyed Kids, B E K. Okay. I think it's still continuing. I'm not 100% sure on that. Here's a classic or instant class that the classic that came out from um, Archie Comics, and it's Afterlife with Archie. Now, this thing is the first Archie related comic book horror series that was put out and uh i haven't read this but from everything that i've heard it's supposed to be really really good okay so i got myself a couple of copies of this so uh and i'm not sure how it is this and i've talked to you guys about this and i've read this whole series rachel rising here's number one here's number two and here's number three this is one of the greatest comic book series of all time as far as i'm concerned okay it's again on the biblical front and it's got it, the first issue is sort of intro to the universe so you don't see too much horror and whatnot but it lays down the foundation for what is happening okay lions chicho have you ever read or watched the boys yeah 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 i'm keeping up with the series the tv series brilliant show indeed loving it and uh, I've begun to read the comics. I haven't read the comics, man. I I almost bought the full set a uh, couple of years ago for for the on the cheap, like for 60, 70 bucks. But I pulled the trigger on other things and whatnot. I wish I had bought that set. That set is probably worth like four or five hundred bucks now, right? Uh, so Rachel Rising is one I really need to read. Crack. You will not be disappointed. I have never heard. A bad thing about it brother you will not be disappointed it in i i've read the omnibus i haven't i i actually haven't read this one we bought this one in the comic book hall if you recall okay the whole set all right was it the whole set the whole, whole bunch of it anyway um so it's fantastic highly recommend highly recommend terry moore and it is a self-published terry moore by albatross uh, his his publishing company okay very good series and here is department of truth 
and I don't know if this is horror related, Halloween related, but it is uh, dark. Okay, and I still haven't even read this yet. I just want this series, right? This is Department of Truth number one. Here is number one uh, alternate print, alternate cover, right? Here is number two. Okay, and as I mentioned in a previous the comic book haul, here is my number two with the alternate cover that I posted right but I'm not going to show you the bottom part of it okay here's this one and the link the image is available uh, on our uh, discord page in the comic book section uh, this is one in 25 this one here okay so we have the Department of Truth as well if you want to read like conspiracy stuff okay. so there's these guys Let's jump to Silver and Golden Age. Web of Mystery. Golden Age comic. This is in, you know, good, poor condition, good condition maybe. Uh, it should be complete. And we bought this in a comic book haul uh, a couple of years ago. Okay, we got it at a great price. You can't get it at that price now. And I put this thing in Mylar. Eerie, I, I have the Eerie magazines. I didn't bring them out. I didn't bring them. Out. I bring. I didn't bring them down. Okay, uh, Eduardo. Uh, or you're saying this is Eerie. This is Eerie. Wow, Web of Mystery, killer cover, killer cover. This is the way you really are, and will eventually look unless you. Oh, what does the mirror want? What does a mirror want? I have an army of 30 going to Birmingham with me tomorrow for a peaceful protest. It says eerie on the top. Oh, yeah, it does too. <laughs> Thanks, Eduardo. There's actually a comic book series called Eerie. Weird, eerie, startling web of mystery. And we got this on the cheap game. Uh, I didn't write down how much I paid for it, but we got it on the cheap, like 10 bucks or something or 20 bucks maybe. Here's another one. This cover is sought after. I believe this is also complete. The Serpent Strikes, Tales of Horror. I believe this is from the 1940s. Okay. And uh, we bought this in a comic book haul. I don't know how much I paid for it, but very cheap compared to uh, what this costs now. Okay, startling golden age stuff definitely gets my vote crack <laughs> you're on two votes now <laughs> so we got the serpent strikes tales of horror okay and we can all the readings could be the golden age stuff gang so i'm not and what's halloween without pirates pirates comics most notorious uh, buccaneers of the sea right so this is Golden Age as well. Oldest horror related comic for me. The oldest, the Golden Age, okay? Ha, you're right. I'm gonna have a tough decision, crack, a tough decision. Here is Mystic number five. And we've read Basil Wol Wol Wolverton's Eye of Doom in Mystic number six, right? That was the first comic book reading we ever did. Okay, so I figured we go with mystic number five choose one okay and this is 19 like this one the tales of horror i believe this is from the 1940s i think 19 like early 1950s both of these are 1940s uh, this one is again early 1950s 40s and again uh, i think this is 1950 or 50, 51 maybe okay 1930 Cheryl 1930 I absolutely love Basil yeah crack Basil Wolverton that was the first comic book I read when I started making comic book videos the first comic book we ever read was Basil uh, was mystic number six with Basil Wolverton's eye of doom brilliant 
it's going to be quite a quiet pop tomorrow and I picked one of the mystic from Silver Age because the comic code is in there and it's mystic 55 okay just in case we want to go with the Silver Age horror so we got these guys let me put these guys here and then I have some stuff from the 1960s and 70s sorry not 19 30 people going to protest oh 30 people going to protest okay sure I'm like 1930s oh my god check these ones out here I'll just pick these ones and I'll show you guys just in case and I have some other ones here but we'll leave those ones might as well get to the readings here's alien worlds right alien worlds alien encounter alien encounter what's the uh protest for lion says i think it's the masks allegor is referring to the house of secrets ghost manor so there's plenty of readings to be had i should have done this earlier and posted a link to all the comic books i pulled out and just run a ran a vote ghostly tales Mysteries of Unexplored Worlds, Vault of Evil, Dark Shadows. This is how my collection goes into chaos mode. I pull a little bit here, a little bit here, and then I just put them back into one box. <laughs> Witching Hour. Ah, vampire. Haunted. Haunted. There's a Dave Stevens cover for Alien Worlds that is in my top five comics of all time. Can't remember uh, the issue number, but it's a woman in spacesuit and it's incredible. Uh, is it issue number one? Crack? And by the way, you brought up Dave Stevens? Crack. You're gonna freak out when I sh when we get one of the comic book halls that's coming my way you're gonna freak out man what is one of the most sought after david uh dave stevens covers it's an issue number one witching hour is a fun series yeah it's an issue number one and it's a couple of ladies riding on a bike space bike woo, with their guns howling man i hope none of you are stupid enough to protest wearing masks or protest lockdowns come on <laughs> lion says those are fighting words with the elder god i think lions it's against the new lockdown it's against the new lockdown oh man chicho i can't wait crack you're gonna love it i have my laptop so i'm uh, uh i'm uh hesitant to offer but if a poll is needed i can help uh, cheryl you know what so far we got two people voting and this is beyond the grave uh this is steve Ditko cover, I believe. Is it Steve Ditko? I'm trying to look for a signature. Uh, anyway, Beyond the Grave. Okay. Ghost Stories. This is actually a popular series or a collectible series that people look for. Ghosts. Politics, I know, Cheryl. Politics to politics, gang. Keep the politics to politics streams. Chamber of Chills. Weird mystery. Look at this one. I love this cover, by the way, gang. Ah, a death at the races. Like seriously, that's freaky. Scary Tales number one. This is a beautiful cover, by the way. Look at that. Beautiful cover. Very heavy metal. Right? Nice. Thank you, young Polax. Baron Wheel Wolf's Haunted Library. Haunted Library. Planet of Vampires. 
Haha, <laughs> Planet of Vampires Intergalactic Halloween Special. And Planet of Vampires. You got one lady tied up here and a guy tied up here, right? They're both like bondage covers. I think that they, uh, Steven's book, you were thinking Chicho was Planet Comics indeed. <laughs> Correct. I got Planet Comics number one coming. And I got a pretty good deal relative to what it's going for. And it looks like a pretty pretty good copy. Man, it's it it's instant. One of my favorite covers ever. Okay, instant. Oh, and here's oh yeah here's a couple of other ones oh, okay here let me show you these ones too yeah I'll just show you these ones as well just because we saw the other ones here's house of penance from dark horse this is Norman okay from Titan comics I have some Italian Zagor comics at home have you read no I don't know Italian Zagor Norman number two. Crack. Nice, Chicho. The Alien Wars cover I was talking about with issue number four. Issue number four. I would have to look it up. I might have it. I was trying to get Stabity Bunny, but I couldn't find my number one. House of Penance. Fantastic miniseries. This one. Yeah, I haven't read it yet. I just bought it. I just. Uh, I don't even know if I continued buying it, but I bought the first one. Okay. Zagor is an Italian comic book created by editor and writer Sergio uh, Bonoloni and artist uh, Galinino Ferry. Ah, cool, cool, cool. Link it up on our Discord page, uh, Young Polax, uh, so we know. I tried to find my Stabity Bunny issue number one. I couldn't find it. It was just buried, right? So it is what it is. Gideon Falls number one. It's science fiction. I don't want to call it horror, but it's science fiction. Here's uh, it. Uh, uh, it kills children. What's it called again? I forget what it's called. This is a beautiful cover, by the way. I love this cover. What a trippy, beautiful color. Look, look at this. I like the House of Penance cover, too. Yeah, beautiful cover. This one. It's absolutely a beautiful cover. Take a look at this one. Very nice. Yeah. And this one is just beautiful. Uh, Ian uh, Beatrum is a great artist. Is that the uh, this one? House of Penance? Ian Beatrum cover? Bertram and Snifster of Terror Ahoy Comics. I've been buying a lot of uh, Ahoy Comics, or I bought a lot of Ahoy Comics. I was pulling this whole thing, season one and season two. Snifster of Terror with Edgar Allan Poe character appearing all over the place. Check out another series he did called The Old Little Bird. Yeah, 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 yeah. Crack, I have Little Bird. I have issue number one and two of Little Bird. Beautiful artwork. Beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little Bird is fantastic. So it's the same artist. This one. Okay, gang. Those are her choices. I'm sorry if uh, I pulled too many out. Really, I, I pulled out too many comics. Um, it. I was just like, I can't. I can't decide. I can't decide what to read. And once I start going through my comics, I'm like, oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. Because when you bury comic books, when you're collecting comic books, you put them in boxes and you put them away. Put them away, put them away, put them away. Every now and then you go through them. And it's just, it's calming. It's meditative. It's amazing. It's surprising. It, it triggers memories. You don't even remember buying some comics that you've bought before, right? I pulled out some comics. I'm like, oh, snap. I had no idea I bought this, right? And I was like, right on. Like I bought uh, Justice League 50 with the first appearance of uh, uh, 
the women green lantern right and i had no idea i had bought it and i came across like three copies of it so at the time i loved it and i bought it right so there is some trigger buys as well but it's it's good to do all right and i kept on pulling comics kept on pulling comics and i actually pulled way more than this but this is all i brought here all right i'm voting whatever elder god votes for <laughs> says. so listen gang there was a couple of votes for the golden age people want golden age you guys have to make a decision do you want golden age or do you want modern age or do you want uh copper silver so let's narrow it down first do you want really old stuff or do you want some of the newer stuff right and then i'll show you guys people say yes yes and then we'll do elder gods like right on <laughs> What should we go with? Should we go with, uh, like Elder God says, a Golden Age? Golden Age horror? Both. Both. <laughs> yeah, we're going to do one today. We're going to do one tomorrow. And we might do a reading on Sunday as well, depending if I can if I can manage it. Uh, Claudio, can't believe I actually caught a bit of a stream live. Haven't used this Twitch account in a while. Awesome. Glad to have you. And thank you for using this twitch account to watch our video our uh, live stream check this out here are the golden age right or this one's silver age damn i have to run sorry folks see you next time see you next time crack i've been watching uh the stream in between my sets and just realized i'm uh dehydrated as well oh lions you got to drink a lot of water when you're working out we got mystic number five now we've read a mystic number six so we might want to just skip the mystics we got pirate comics as far as uh, um, what do you call it golden age goes right and what is this guy saying this guy's saying now governor we're entering your harbor and if your town town fires on us this gun will be the first to return fire Oh, the governor is going to get blown to smithereens. And of course, we have two very sought after horror from the golden age of comics. Horror comic book series from the golden age of comics. Uh, this one is hard to find. This is Tales of Horror number 10. Okay. Let's do a chronological reading order from oldest okay if it's going to be oldest it's got to be one of these two guys and i don't know which one is older so i'm going to punch it into uh let me punch this in to and i use my comic shop and i like my comic shop game uh, i'm not here to promote anyone but my comic shop is does a fun has a fantastic website with information on it tales of horror tales of horror number 10 number 10 let's see when this is tales of horror number 10 this is 1954 actually okay this one's 1954 okay and then let's look at web of mystery web of mystery i forget what number this is i think this is number 10 as well let's check it out web of Web of Mystery. Let's see what number this is. Web of Mystery. Web of Mystery. Yeah, this is number 10 as well. Okay. And this is 1952. So Web of Mystery, 1952. Tales of Horror, 1954. Uh, Pirates. Comics. And I have no idea what this is. This is going to be hard to find. Uh, let's open this up Boop. pirates is there a number on this pirates comics i'm just gonna go hopefully you can find it hi ritz comics oh man pirate comics this is 
this is 1950 this one <laughs> if you're gonna want to you guys want to read pirates so 1950 1950 to 1954 web of mystery sorry 1951 52 52 52 1950 mystic number five let's check out mystic number five mystic number five mystic number five mystic number five 1951 okay so again, it's your choice. Sorry if I um, disappear for a bit. So I like the tales of uh, horror. Cheryl says, or and web of mystery. Has anyone read them? I haven't read them actually yet. Web of mystery. I reckon Elder God. I used to use uh, my comic shop for all my bulk orders because they have such a great backlog of series it's difficult to get comics in australia without paying a giant shipping yeah me too i don't buy i actually my comic shop i bought from them i made a mistake previously i said i've never bought from them i've actually bought from their ebay listings before i've never bought from their website pirates ain't horror pirates is you know pirates come into play in halloween but i guess pirates is not horror okay so one of these two guys which one should it be let's do horror Maybe we'll just do both of these, one today and one tomorrow, right? Which one should it be, gang? Web of Mystery number 10 or Tales of Horror number 10? Web of Mystery or Tales of Horror? Which one should we do? web we got web one wolf for web that's good enough for me man <laughs> elder god we should read web <laughs> let's read web of mystery i've been meaning to read this by the way the web of mystery and let me hey where'd it go there we go web of mystery number 10 let's see and cgc only has 10 of these graded and I can't even see the Tales of Horror one. So let's do Web of Mystery again. Let me put this guy back. And for this one, by the way, the Tales of Horror, they released a compilation, like a omnibus, right? Of this series, like a thick hardcover book. I think it's hardcover. And they use this as the cover for it right and this one's beautiful by the way cool cover and this one's super cool as well of course right so before we get into the reading let me tell you well who are the artists for this ah uh, this one my comic shop doesn't have too much info on it um and the other one the other website i use ch -ch -ch -ch, well i'm not gonna bother looking up the info on this this is june 1952 okay and uh, uh genres horror of course and there's an artist lou uh cameron is w worked on this mike sakowski has worked on this those are the only two that's listed in my comic shop uh, regarding this comic if we go to CGC maybe they have more listed on here yeah Bill uh, Mul Mulno is on this Lou Cameron and Chick Stone cool 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 ace periodicals okay I'll close off the pirates one so gang let's do this and just to let you know it's windy here right now uh pretty windy here right now uh usually it's not a problem the power doesn't get hit but it has sometimes so if we lose the connection my apologies we've lost the connection okay aside from that i'm going to turn off chat i'm going to turn off the browser because it's already been like 45 minutes of we've looked at a few nice covers though 
I've turned off chat, I've turned off the browser. And uh, just so you know, from the comic books we looked at, for tomorrow's reading, if you want, go to our Discord page and say which one you want to read. If there's a particular one you want to read, and people can vote on it. You remind me of the uh, of, of the mountain Ararat. Nice. That's because I got Armenian ancestry in me, right? Wind is perfect for Halloween readings. Indeed, indeed. For sure. And I'm going to turn off my camera. I'll be back after the reading gang. Okay. Let me turn off my camera. The computer one anyway. And see you soon. I hope you enjoy the reading gang. Do this let me put this up let me do this as well let's do this hi everyone this is chicho welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream another comic book reading and what we're doing today is we're gonna do we're sort of doing live stream Halloween special comic book readings on Twitch and we're definitely uploading this to both BitChute and YouTube and uh, we're picking uh, horror comics I pulled out a whole bunch of horror comic books um, and whatnot from my uh, some of my boxes I went through the last couple of days and I pulled out a whole bunch and we took a look at some of those ones during the live streams earlier on and we decided to read this one this is web of mystery number 10. it came out in 1952 okay june 1952 1951 okay it's ace periodicals and the artists on this are bill Mulno, lou uh, cameron and chick stone and i believe uh, the other person that's worked on this is Mike Zakowski. Okay. And it's from a series again from Ace Periodicals that started off in 1951. And we ended up picking this up during a comic book uh, haul that uh, we've, we have a video out for. Okay. And we got it on a fantastic, fantastic price. We really did get it on a fantastic price. I think we paid anywhere. We paid less than 20, between 10 to $20 on this. And it is in, uh, you know, fair to good condition, I guess. Okay. And uh, what did I grade this at? Uh, I bought this between, I say the grade was between 2.5 to 3. Um, small pieces missing from cover, obviously. Because if we take a look at it, there's small pieces missing from the cover. And what I'm going to do is we'll crack this open and uh, we'll do our reading. Okay. And it's it's a beautiful cover. I'm going to take this out so it doesn't give the glare. That way we can see it. And I put it in Mylar, of course. Uh, okay. Let's check it out. Let's pull this off on at the tape. Let's pull this out and you'll see you know the condition it's in better when we pull it out of course and it's not bad there isn't gigantic chunks missing unfortunately there is you know stain here it's not a stain it's marker on it right and this is what does this person say this is the way you really are and will eventually look unless so the mirror is trying to make a deal with the lady and she definitely doesn't look like that but the mirror says so oh the wind the wind as soon as we start reading right weird eerie startling web of mystery and this is web of mystery number 10 okay and you know there's oh the cover is detached look at this totally forgot the cover was detached So when the cover is detached, this kicks it down to like a two, right? Check a look at the mirror. Mirror of destiny. Yeah, 
this is definitely you know 1.82 it was i would say two wow the detached cover people freak out with the detached cover right for me as long as it's complete like if this thing was the cover was missing completely half of it then i would say yeah this is like a 1.5 right as long as it's complete but as long as the cover and take a look at this is falling apart on us so i'm going to put these in the bag if i have old comics that this stuff is coming off i threw it in the bag okay Yeah, in general, you don't reattach the cover. Someone's asking, is there a way to reattach these covers? No, uh, there might be, but I wouldn't do it. Or is that considered further than? It's considered restoration if you can reattach the cover, but I don't think you can reattach it. Okay. So pretty cool. And what does the back say here? There's no such, there's no such animal, he cried. What is this? We've never seen this one automatic savings is sure savings u.s savings bond do you want to invest in u.s savings bonds right let's read the fine print on this okay i can't bring it up for it to be focused oh there it is web of mystery june 1952 number 10 published monthly monthly by ace books incorporated office of publication 163 Pratt Street, Maryland, Connecticut. Editorial and Executive Offices, 23 West 47th Street, New York, 19, New York. Entered a second class matter at the post office at Maryland, Connecticut. Single copies, 10 cents. 12 issues dollar 20 copyright 1952 by ace books incorporated printed in the usa right. u.s savings bonds contribute by this magazine uh, contributed by this magazine in cooperation with the magazine publishers of america as a public service oh so this ad check this out was a public service uh, to get people to invest in savings bonds cool All right. my friend and i let's read this we've never seen this one before so let's read this my friend my friend and i were picking the uh ponies Doop. let's check it out we're picking the ponies one day when i started telling him about a sure thing i heard of you say it pays four bucks for every three he asked yep i replied and can't lose it automatic it automatically wins must be illegal no not a bit i replied in fact the government very much approves our government approves of a horse who can't lose who said anything about a horse i asked so what else could it be uh, but a horse it not only could be but is u.s savings bonds was my prompt reply the surest thing running on any track today for every three dollars you invest in u.s savings bonds you get four dollars back after only 10 years and if you're a member of the payroll savings plan which means you buy bonds automatically from your paycheck that can amount to an awful lot of money when you're not looking hey what are you doing tearing up my racing form the horse i'm betting betting on from now on is u.s savings bonds right and returning a third a quarter really oh no it's a third so 33 percent return in 10 years um if it's a sure thing why not let's put the cover on the side here so it doesn't get in the way and let's take a look at the back cover oh the back cover is attached to so we'll take the back cover off so yeah when the front cover is attached usually not always but the back cover can be detached as well so this is definitely on the 1.5 
to two level. Gets those back again. Ch -ch. Draw the first day. No lessons, no talent. And this is, we've seen this one before. It's sort of like a projection onto a screen, right? And we've read that one before. And of course, there's gotta be, oh, what is this? Gotta be muscle thing. Oh, wow, look at this, it's sort of a garter for men. <laughs> Check this out. An amazing new health supporter belt for men in their 30s, 40s, 50s who want to look slimmer and feel younger. Right? Look at this contraption. Damn. Front adjustment works quick as a flash. Simply adjust the strap and presto, I can belt it perfectly, adjust it to your greatest comfort. Retachable crotch. You can have a retachable crotch. Air cooled, that's a good thing. Scientifically designed and made to give wonderful support and protection. Damn. Two way stretch. Wonder cloth. Wonder cloth, they say, eh? Crazy. Well, I'm pretty sure they sold some. So let's take a look at this thing. Let's take a look at this thing. We're just going to start reading it, gang. So weird bells of Wozak. Look at that. It even has a stamp. Alan E. Simmons, March 28th. 1952 damn very nice Alan E Simmons I wonder if that was the sort of a magazine stand weird bells of Wazik the von Wazik lineage had died out 100 years ago in Vienna, but his fame and renown was still alive. A wealth of historic lore lay buried in the family's stately mansion beneath the time-honored dust of a century, awaiting the open sesame of a young American historian, Jay Stafford. But among the treasures he found was close, uh, closeted, an unearthly secret which once revealed would set the wild bells of Wazik clanging a funeral dirge over gay Vienna. So I'll take a look at this. That's the panel. Let's get a focus, see if we can watch one. say welcome to the wazik state herr stafford and florin len lensdorf you are the first visitors permitted in a hundred years the waziks were vienna's first family and they made history in their time i am very happy to be your guide to be your guide jay so the girls telling the man I hope the records have been well preserved Kathy I feel that a great book can be written about this family so he's uh, from the States and she's the guide I guess from Vienna yeah possibly Wow, that's huge inside. Look at that. Oh, look at all the rats. Tons of rats. This is the Great Hall 
all the waziks have been buried in state here along the walls for hundreds of years yikes how very strange that custom was i wonder why the last wazik baron friedman shut the mansion to the public for a century Perhaps the records were revealed at. Look at those decorations on the tombs. This one with the crossed rifle was Paulus, a great general. The violin and bow show that Kalman was a great musician. Ah, okay. These are the weapons. And over here you got the violins. And then you got the scale. So that might be a judge or a jury or a lawyer. Yes. And these scales, balance scales, surely indicate this von Wazik was a great judge. Looks like in the deep state. It's a knife something with a knife on it what would you say the countess was noted for this dagger hilt doesn't reveal much Maria was the most beautiful woman in Vienna over a century ago courted by hundreds of young men she died rather young under mysterious circumstances she says A thorough search of the great great hall was well rewarded look at all the spider webs the chest must be cramped full of documents but how in the world can we open them we need a sharp knife I see just the thing for that oh he's looking at the knife in the wall of the countess right look at all the books look at the treasure chest The wind is saying, don't do it. You shouldn't have done that, Jay. It is not proper to meddle with the dead. It's only an ornament, Kathy, and it's the only sharp instrument around here. Oh, so he pulled the knife out of the tomb, right? Pretty ignorant thing to do some hours later it's getting dark just when these pr uh, priceless documents are getting interesting we'll have to return early tomorrow morning that will give us more working time she says As they left the musty ancient wall, musty ancient hall. At last, the fateful dagger has been withdrawn from my heart. An unwitting fool has released me from my hundred years of entombment. Once more, the Wazik bells ring loud, ring out. Their iron throats proclaim a new Wazik to Vienna, a reborn Wazik. Ha 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 ha! Bong bong bong. She's pulling on the bells. As the ominous peal reverber re peal reverberated. What, why is the Wazik bells? They always rang 
mysteriously with a wazik was born or died but they've all been dead a hundred years what does it mean it's probably just the wind or some of the boys ringing them for a lark come kathy i'll take you home you must dress for the american embassy ball tonight soon in the darkening wazik mansion the bells have stopped ringing but why is that crypt open the wazik dead must not be dishonored Suddenly, hey, who are you? You look like death and smell of the grave. I am Countess Maria von Wazik. Let my eyes look deeply into your yours and make your senses real. And now I must drink my fill of his blood so that warmth and beauty will return to my cold body moments later i feel restored now i see gay vienna again with his music and dancing I will shed my dusty grave shroud uh, from one of my evening for one of my evening gowns tonight I shall conquer more hearts and find more victims to keep me young perpetually <laughs> later at the American Embassy Ball who is that fascinating woman Jay I don't know Kathy but she seems to have found no end of admirers let's find out there she is I love all you Americans. You do everything with such energy. And what brings you to Vienna, Herr Stafford? Dance with me and I'll tell you all about my research at the Wazik State, he says. So you are going to write a book about the von Waziks? I wouldn't advise that. There are some terrible secrets we should never see the light of day she says all the all the more reason why I should unearth them countess by the way you didn't tell me your name I wanted to remain remain a deep secret I hope to see you again her Stafford but now your girlfriend is angry with with neglect goodbye Oh, she is look at that I have a way of digging out secrets countess and soon I shall not know yours good night as the countess left the bar she certainly cast a hypnotic spell over over you jay but did you notice how haggard and pale she grew towards the end of the evening now kathy don't be jealous the countess is a truly fascinating woman i could feel my strength and beauty waning i had to leave now I must satisfy this craving for blood before I go mad. 
to the Wazik estate driver. The Wazik estate? Very good, ma madam. Off she goes. When the darkened state was reached, we are here, madam, but the Wazik state is closed. What? Your face and eyes, they chill my blood. Gaze deep into my eyes, miserable fool. Resistance is useless. You are falling asleep, asleep. And moments later, soon I shall be rejuvenated. Now I'll fetch the watchman and send them both on their way far from the Wazik state. Soon, my first two vi victims let the police rack their brains, but they'll never find me. back to the great hall as dawn broke jay stafford will never find this and i shall remain an enigma to the world yes countess maria von wazik will live forever but now i must go back to my crypt for dawn is breaking what is this book she's carrying history of count Countess Maria von Wazik, right? So that's the book of her, her ancestors of her, really. Early the next morning, Herr Stafford, you are wanted at headquarters in connection with your research at the Wazik mansion. Miss Lensdorf is already at the station what could be wrong i'll be dressed in a moment he says later at police headquarters yes remember the watchman he let us in for our research work but we do not know the coachman he says the watchman was not dead when we found him in the coach. Just before he expired, he told us about the bells and a mysterious woman. Come, we shall investigate the state together. Hours later. Ah, oh, they're at the state looking through the books and stuff. The coroner is going over the bodies. No report yet. My men haven't found a single clue. Here, have you discovered anything? Well, only one curious item. We have a history for each one Wazik, except the one for Countess Maria von Wazik. It is missing, but it's getting too late to work over these documents now. Tired and shaken by the day's events, Jay and Kathy went to a cafe to eat. The place is crowded. Ah, here's the Countess. I knew we'd meet again, he says. Wouldn't you, won't you join me? She offers. Jay told the Countess of the strange events. What a horrible story. Those poor people. Don't the police know who killed them? Not yet, but I think if they open Count Countess Maria von Wazik's crypt, they might find the answer. The mysterious woman and Ma Maria are linked in some terrible way, he says.
No, it would be sacrilege to open a Wazik crypt. The dead must be left to rest in peace, she says. Why, Countess, we did not mean to insult you. You are in no way concerned. Later that night, as Kathy got ready for bed, soon her life's blood will have nourished my body, making me strong and beautiful, the Countess says. It's coming through the window. I... The Countess, in such hideous form, what do you want from me? Your eyes go away, she says. You are powerless. Even now, your will is lost. Yes, I am the Countess von Wazik, but you will never be able to expose me. Brief moments later, Kathy. I came to get some uh, manuscripts. Kathy, is something the matter? Open the door quickly. Oh, she's lying on the ground. It's Stafford. I must fly, for I cannot be discovered. After waking the landlady, She's hardly breathing. Get a doctor here immediately and call the police. J um, immediately. Ugh, that, that this should happen in my house. Miraculously, Kathy was revived. It, it was the Countess von Wazik. She entered like a huge demon bat. I, I was losing consciousness but realized that she was at my throat after my blood this confirms what i i at first could not believe you have been attacked by a vampire with great hypnotic powers there's only one thing to do maria von wazik must be destroyed before she claims more victims he says Later, at Maria von Wazik's crypt, the Countess is gone. But here is the missing work of her life. The whole thing hangs together, hangs together now. He's got the book in his hands, right? So he went inside the crypt, pulled out the book. As Jay grew in, engrossed in Mar Maria's history, I think I studied the black arts under the great hip, hypnotist Zeus, Zeus and entered the inner blood circle of a secret cult. By her own admission, she's a vampire. So now you know all, Herr Stafford. You shall be my next victim, she comes on. I wouldn't give you that chance, you fiend. I know what those hellish eyes can do to a person's mind. Throws the book at her. Oh, you shall not survive, you meddler. I will, I will ever, I will never be ex exposed, she says. Here, look deep into your own eye, your own vile heart you murderous take your power of your on your take your power test your powers on yourself oh he put a little mirror in front of her yeah i i cannot move my throat burns in agony my head my is is whirling 
with lightning speed no I stabs her oh that's the shield he picked up the shield from the wall look at that holds the shield no and now your doom the dagger is back in your filthy heart never to be removed he says at that moment jay the wasik's bell are ringing again then she's dead and you are safe clang well done herr stafford already she has begun to decompose the countess will never roam again i wonder how many victims she had before she had she was destroyed the first time i don't care to know we shall never return to this place again he says let the wazik family keep its horrible secret forever and may the bells never ring again the end nice vampire story classic vampire story Here's a one pager. True tales of unexplained mystery. Should we read that one too? Let's read this one as well. The one pager. Let's check this out. True tales of unexplained mystery. We have all heard of pet animals that have pin let's bring this closer. That have pinned away and died shortly after their human masters have died. But here in the strange story here is a strange story of an inanimate object so much a part of an old man's life that it too seemed to mourn his master's death this is this is a story of a clock when old sea captain angus hawk died in 1932 he had proved uh, provided in his will that his favorite uh, mantelpiece clock be buried with him but his grandson had refused to follow his provisions so this is uh, true tales of an explained mystery number 19 this clock is too valuable to bury with the old man he says a week after the old captain had been buried young fred hawks had a fantastic dream foolish wicked lad why did you disobey my wishes since you would not bury my clock with me you shall bring it to me yourself on this hour and on this day you shall come to me so January 12th, 1933 at 6.38 a.m. I'm assuming that'll be a.m. The next morning, a worried Fred Hawks called the family doctor to his home and narrated his strange dream. And grandfather predicted the hour and day of my death, 19... 6:45 on next january 12th it was just a nightmare fred perhaps brought on by a twinge of conscience but you're not bearing the clock with your grandfather as he had requested oh i get struck by lightning fred hawks believed the doctor's explanation and forgot his strange dream but a few months later on january 12 1933 at exactly 6 45 p.m a wild streak of lightning brought the young man's life to a sudden end zap Aye. dr anderson saw to it that the old captain's beloved clock was buried in the coffin of the young fred hawks the boy's death was a summons from the beyond 
I'm sure of it. Well, old Angus will have his clock brought to him. Fred Hawks, Captain Angus Hawks, rest in peace. Was Fred Hawks' strange death, therefore, a predestined rendezvous, or was the timing of that lightning bolt merely a coincidence? Who can say? Just another weird entry in the annals of the supernatural. The end. The Macabre choice between two doors. Look at the incense burning. Oh, you got a black cat. Please, Uncle Warren, you must listen to me. I need the money. Why don't you listen instead of paying so much attention to that ugly cat? Because the cat is far more important to me than anything you could possibly have to say. Oh, look at that. There can be no rest for a murderer especially when he knows that his victim in another form is seeking revenge that was why vincent dale uh, fled fearing every every step he took for a dead man's vengeance lurked in the darkness and was ready to strike him down out of the shadows You know why shadow is important to me vincent when i die he will take on my soul this i learned from the fake fuckers in the no north of india you don't believe that nonsense he's just the mangy old cat and get out i know the secrets behind the veil of death I know the road the road to follow get out scuffer fool oh what's the use you haven't seen com you, you haven't been completely sane since you came home from India with all that talk about the cat being your alter ego What am I going to do if I don't get the grand up those gamblers will knock me off if uncle Warren were dead his whole estate would be mine if he were dead why not he's a sick man it'd be easy I'll do it now tonight he says later uncle warren i'm sorry about the argument i brought you your hot chocolate please forgive me of course vincent you're my only sister's son when she died i promised to take care of you but i'm not going to give you the money for which you asked my boy you'll have to get it out of that mess yourself i brought I brought on the situation and I'll remedy it. Here, uncle, drink your hot chocolate. You're talking like a man now, Vincent, not a whining coward. When I was a colonel in Afghanistan, I learned a lot about men. You can be resolute when you want to be, Vincent. The colonel took the chocolate and drank it 
moments later vincent this chocolate there was something in it what have you done i've poisoned you yes i can be resolute i know the will is made out to be to me now i shall have your money you shall not escape i'll reach for you out of the shadows my soul shall enter the cat i'll have my vengeance he's dead i'll soak his body in gasoline set fire to him and the house it would be a tragic accident so sad poor uncle alone in a blazing house alone and helpless vincent's evil scheme worked to perfection for a short time later i'm terribly sorry mr dale there's nothing that can be done the the poor old guy it's horrible every time i think of him trapped in that wheelchair with the flames cur curling up around him if only i had been there he says you mustn't take it too hard the the living have to go on yes i guess you're right a month passed and his uncle's state was settled vincent was the sole heir he paid off his gambling debts and then proceeded to enjoy his ill-gotten wealth ah this is the life money a new car i'm really living now nothing is ever going to get in my way again but there were unworldly things that vincent had no not reckoned with things from behind the veil of death you where did you come from look at the look on the cat's face oh it jumps on his face yeah while he's driving oh my god crash now look at the cat the cat escaped right and there goes vincent over the cliff weeks passed pain-filled weeks during which vincent hovered on the brink of death until you're very lucky mr dale it's a miracle that you're alive you should have you should be very happy you'll be leaving the hospital soon happy i, I don't know doctor he says after he left the hospital vincent threw a big party to celebrate his homecoming it was held in the luxurious apartment he had rented i brought you a present vincent something for the mantelpiece over the fireplace thank you caroline unwrap it and put it up isn't it pretty what is this a joke you must be crazy he says he's like freaking out well i like that some way to treat somebody who brings a present i'm sorry caroline it's just that i hate cats please forgive me oh that's all right vincent push me a uh, pour me a drink and all is forgiven the cat it's alive it's coming at me he says look at that right he's gonna jump on out oh he's freaking out he's freaking out look at this oh he's losing his mind he's trashing it you're not get me shadow no no he's off his rockers come on let's get out of here 
Get out, all of you. Leave me alone, he says. After the others had gone, Vincent's fear was so overwhelming that he couldn't he could no longer stay in the apartment. He fled into the night, seeking escape from the nameless terror that pursued him. His wanderings led him to the lonely piers on the river edge, and there, in the black shadows of a darkened warehouse, he saw the glowing eyes of the cats. Ah, oh, there it is, there's the cat. Yeah. Uncle, please, it was an accident, an accident. I didn't mean it, he says. I know it's you, Uncle. Have mercy. And the cat's coming towards him. Help, help. Ah! At that moment, two policemen in a radio car pass by on route patrol. Help! Over here. Ed, over there, Ed, somebody in the water. Let's go. I'll bring, I'll bring the rope, Charlie. Easy now, we have you. The cat, my uncle's soul is in the cat. It's shadow, I tell you. He'll destroy me as he swore he would. The cat, I can't escape. He's searching for the valley of death for me. This guy's off his rockers. Let's get him down uh, to city hospital for observation. Cop says. Two days later in the psychiatric clinic of city hospital. Now, Mr. Dale, you are under great tension. All these talk of a cat pursuing you. My advice, sir, is to get away. Go on a trip. Yes, a trip. I will. I must get away. Some place where he'll never find me, he says. As soon as possible, Vincent completed all his arrangements for a European tour. I'll be all right now. A year in Europe, and I'll forget this whole nightmare. After several, several pleasant weeks, Vincent had almost bl blotted out the terrifying thoughts that turned his sleep into horrible nightmares. He brought he bought a car and toured the continent in Italy he toured the continent in Italy one day that castle seems interesting I think I'll take a closer look at it he's driving up to a castle Signor if you wish to visit the castle I shall be happy to show you around Thanks, he says. Inside the castle, down below are the torture chambers. The Duke di Malvova, who owned this uh, place, was a wicked man. He tortured his enemies. Come see. Okay, this is sure, this sure is a creepy place, he says. These things you see are nothing, but Signor, you notice those two doors? Yes, what about them? So they're in the torture chamber. Oh, look at that, that's one of those things with nails on it. 
or spikes on it you lay down on them torture machine through one of them lies the way to liberty the other leads to the room of spikes there's a drop of 10 feet and the floor is stouted with spikes so many have died choosing the wrong door this duke sounds like a horrible man good thing he isn't around today what's that clang do not be frightened it is a doorbell perhaps some other visitor stay stay senor i shall be back soon there's much more to see I wish he hurry back. This room is like a graveyard. He lights up a cigarette. A sudden noise on the stairs made Vincent turn and the cat. Oh, they're all black cats. He's scared. Very scared. You won't get me, you won't. Try the doors, Vincent. One of them leads to freedom. He imagines. The wrong door. The room of spikes. I'm falling. Help me. Oh, look at that. Oh, impaled. Look at that. Look at that no one was there senor and and i the room of spikes oh the poor man what made him do it look at that and the cats looking down ouch and the cat the black cat where did he come from answer me you devil where did you come from Purr. Cat's all happy, cleaning himself and purring away, right? A black cat story. That was good. It was very unique. Oh, here's another one. Another one of these tales. Let's read this one too. True Tales of Unexplained Mystery, number 20. The previous one was number, it wasn't number 19, was it? The previous one, let's check it out. Oh yeah, it was. The previous one was number 19. So this is uh, Web of Mystery number 10. And they must have started with Tales of Unexplained Mystery number 1. So they have a few of these. If there's 10, there's 19. So 18 divided by 9. So they must, they must tell two of these Unexplained Mysteries in each of the comics if it started with number 1 right and i believe it did start with number one the series there's always mathematics and everything right so we got a little mathematics in this as well cool so let's see what this is all about in 1897 a british archaeologist by the name of luther powell was making a scientific search in the jungles of Burma, hoping to come up with some valuable relics of that country's ancient civilization and customs. One day, he came upon a ruined temple in the uninhabited regions of the central Burma. Upon entering the temple with his native guide, 
he beheld a weird idol. Human skeletons littered the floor before it. This idol must have been much, which has been much feared by your ancient ancestors, to uh, Tulaki. See the bones of human victims sacrificed to, to this god. Ai, it is Ranga, vengeful god of my people. We have desecrated, de dis, dis, desecrated his hiding place. We must leave. Desecrated his hiding place. We must leave. Dismissing his native guy's fear as mere superstition, Powell made arrangements for transporting the huge idol to the British Museum a month later. The job is finished. My greatest find since I became curator here, he says. Is it the same person? Yeah, he's got the glasses and the mustache, right? So the guy on the left in the gray suit is the same guy that found uh, the idol, right? This guy. That night, as Powell was conversing with the museum's night watchman, moan. What's that? Did you hear that moaning cracker? Yes, sir. Oh, it's the idol come to life. Rushing quickly to the main gallery, Powell and the night watchman were amazed to see the idol. It's at the window, but how could it have moved from the platform? The terrified watchman fled leaving Powell alone with the idol the next morning. He's dead, crushed by some unusually heavy weight, and something went crashing out the window. The idol, it's gone, disappeared. Strange indeed was the mysterious disappearance of the idol, but even more weird was the sudden appearance of the idol in its temple in Burma, discovered by Professor Anton uh, Crevis of the French National Museum the following year. It is Raga. He has returned. It would be fatal to move it. Yes, I heard what happened to Professor Powell in London last year. Don't worry, Tulaki. To, to Your idol will be will be uh, will be will not be disturbed again. He says. I was surprised. I was expecting for this guy, the punchline, to be the French curator later to also. Don't worry. I'll take this idol with me, as well. Who could explain logically the terrible death of Luther Powell and the strange return of Ranga to his temple in Burma? Just another strange occurrence that has defied explanation by scholars of the supernatural. The end. I wonder if this is true. These are our true stories. The true tales of unexpected mysteries. And what was the last one? The last one was uh, da, 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 unexplained mysteries. Oh, yeah, this one was a lightning strike, right? The guy didn't bury the clock. Let's take a look at this one. Ho, 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 ho. The wind, the wind. Prophecy of the frightful image. I wonder if the wind knows how scary this story might be. Let's check this out. The prophecy of the frightful image. To the streets of Monte Carlo and along the Riviera came people of every kind, rich, pampered widows, bored with everything, adventurers seeking to make a fortune, and there lived Felicia, the most beautiful woman in Monte Carlo. But her 
but her greed was even greater than her beauty. Really? Her greed was even be more beautiful than her beauty. Let's check her out. She seems like an angry woman. Well, the guy's grabbing her, so maybe that's why. Let's see what the conversation is. Marry me, Felicia. There is a small house we can rent, and I will make you very happy. You are mad, Jean. Do you think I would throw away my beauty that way? No, I am not meant for such a life. In the gambling casinos of Monte Carlo come rich men. There I will find the man I want, she says. She's after That night, Felicia started on her destiny at the table where she was uh, Cropier. Cropier was a rich Arab prince. Never have I had such fantastic luck. And you are my lucky star. Of all the women in Europe, I have never met anyone so beautiful. You must come come out with me tonight and celebrate my winnings he says i would love to your highness jean was waiting when she came outside please felicia i've spent all my money on you i will steal for you if if only you will love me get away from me tonight i have met the man who can give me the riches I should have I should have don't bother me again she says ruthless look at the face on that guy he's like begging just then the prince appeared I'm sorry your highness but this impossible person is pestering me on your way ruffian if you persist in bothering the lady i will have you thrown in jail he says from the moment i saw you felicia i forgot all the others take this ring that has been in my royal family and wear it oh wow Oh, thank you, Your Highness. I, too, felt this attraction when we met. I can think of no other man now. Huh. I can deny my love no longer, Felicia. You will make me you will make me the happiest man in the world by marrying me my beloved oh my dearest yes at last this fool's wealth will be mine palaces jewels any wish granted my beauty acclaimed she says look at that look at that later a walk brought the couple to a carnival stop a moment young lovers perhaps the beautiful lady would like to see what fate has in store for her look in a mirror of destiny for one franc you can know your fate let's just go in darling he says your fortune and there's another couple right there Oh, look at the skeleton on the curtain. Oh, that should be a warning already. Let's check it out. I don't like, like it in here. It's ugly and dirty and cold. Stay but a moment. Here, gaze upon yourself and see what you really are. Oh, 
this is probably related to the cover there it is look at that oh beautiful there was black magic in that tent as felicia gazed the mirror seemed to plump the depths of her soul heed what the mirror tells tells you if you don't want to end in grief oh what vicious trick is this this is the way you are and will eventually look unless you change the mirror says look at that And that's the same thing as the cover, right? Look at that. See that? That's that scene right there. Let's bring it up. It's almost a good thing the cover is detached. Look at that. We can put them right beside each other. Right? The dress is the same. The color scheme is a little different. Beautiful. This is the way you really are and will eventually look unless you change mirror of destiny and that's the same mirror of destiny up here very cool very cool very cool very cool let's keep on looking reading when they left the prince was thoughtful felicia could not break the silence between them he too had seen her reflection in the mirror and he believed I I have just remembered Felicia I must return to my country for a while I will let you know when I can return fool you're afraid of what you saw in that lying mirror there are other wealthy men whom my beauty can get for me it was only your riches I loved anyway huh at least she comes clean But after the air prince had left I am beautiful these mirrors do not lie yet wealth has slipped from my grasp because the prince saw my reflection in that mirror I must have that mirror oh. she wants the mirror the carnival was deserted and Felicia sneaked in you vile lying mirror to deny my beauty and yes i would sell my soul for riches but no one will ever know never again must anyone but me see my image in this mirror i will keep it hidden forever no no you cannot take it away the curator says or the carnival person says out of my way old man Look at that, she hits him. Look at that. I will have the mirror. You cannot stop me. Oh, she smacks him. Felicia hit the mirror and thus thought to her, uh, to, and thus thought, thought to hide her soul and destiny. What's the mirror reflection like right now? Yeah, it's still vile. Look at that. Her reflection. Huh. I will acquire the wealth and power I want from some rich fool. I can make of myself what I want. I will lock this, this attic and no one will ever know my secrets. soon pierre dumont the banker became her constant escort look at her oh i wonder if that's the guy his previous lover maybe maybe not i'm mad about you felicia all of monte carlo envies me soon when i can get papa's permission we will be married oh pierre that would be wonderful but but till then would you not give me a gift of your love diamonds 
perhaps, that I can wear proudly as your fiance. Anything you wish, Cheery. Tomorrow I will go to the jewelers and order the ring. Oh, I am so happy, Pierre. And perhaps I could have diamond, diamond bracelet, such as the Countess wears. Felicia's greed would not let her rest. More and more her diamonds increased, demands increased. Pierre, I heard that the tiara the Empress Maria wore is for sale. I must have it. I think I buy your love. I think I buy your love with diamonds, my dear Felicia. I will give you nothing more and sell your beauty. You do not give your love. But darling, it is such a little gift. You are so wealthy. These are things that merely prove your love to me. There is no love between us, Felicia. I know now your soul is black with greed. It is better that we do not see each other again. Oh, look at that. He wisens up. Pierre left her then, and after, after him came Alfred, a painter, Frank Francisco the banker, Larry the American millionaire, and as her greed increased, each man left her, seeing finally the inner black soul she could not hide. Knock, knock. Why does great wealth elude me? Each time it slips through my fingers, and all I have are just a few pieces of jewelry. Who is there? she says. A knock, knock comes in. And there's her jewelry. Felicia, who is this? Please help us. My wife and children are sick, and there's not a franc to buy food and medicine. We we raised you when your when your parents died. Please help us now, or we'll die. He says. Don't think to live off me, uncle. Beg in the streets for all arms if you have to, but make your your own way, she says. Your face is ugly with greed, wicked girl. You will see in the end. Your beauty will buy you nothing, he says. As the old man left, I do not wish to be disturbed, uh, Suzette. Let no one in. These fools lie. All other mirrors tell me I'm beautiful. And perhaps the mirror of destiny too has changed. Oh, look at her look now. The mirror of destiny knows. Oh, she's vile. She's so ugly. Look at that. But the mirror hadn't changed. I will make you change. I will do something good. And then even my soul will mirror my beauty. I will give my uncle money for medicine, she says. And the next morning. Well, have you found my uncle, Suzette? Oh, mistress, I have, I have just found out. He drowned himself last night. It is terrible. Oh, no. The fool. Well, then, I shall pay for his funeral. I must go to the undertaker and arrange everything, she says. Later, I wish my poor uncle to have the best of everything, a casket of gold, and shall arrange for his wid widow to come to the funeral. You are as generous as you are beautiful, he says. Felicia ordered a special outfit for the funeral. The young man, 
is of the wealthy Latrot family. He frequents the gambling casino. This will be my chance to meet him. He says. Oh, wow, look at that. Pardon me, monsieur, but do we know each other? Oh, she's so ugly. Look at that. Oh, my God. I am sorry, madame, but I don't seem to recall. Perhaps you're an old friend of my late mother's. I may have seen you when I was a child. She says, or he says, look at her look. Ooh. Nice. Nice. Oh. Look at that. What? How dare you speak to me that way, fool? Don't you know I am the most beautiful woman in Monte Carlo? <laughs> Funny. Furious, Felicia rushed away, but when she arrived home, she discovered evil cannot exist without taking its toll. No, no, this cannot happen. I spent all that money on the funeral to protect my beauty. It is all wasted. It is that cursed mirror of destiny that has made my life misery a misery look at that i'll send everyone away no one must see me until i have regained my beauty i will be what my beauty destined me to be what my beauty destined for me Oh, she's even more uglier now what my image here is more hideous than ever I'll smash this cursed mirror before my ruin is complete I'll destroy it and get back my stolen beauty hypocrisy now has taken away has taken away even your outward beauty Felicia oh, look at that the mirror speaks the truth oh she smashes the mirror look at that now you are out of my life and my beauty will return ha ha it is done now Felicia your destiny is sealed you have lost all chance of ever changing the mirror says and with those words Felicia's doom was sealed by her greed. She spent her small fortune trying to regain her beauty. And when that failed, she moved the mirrors from her house. But her love of money wouldn't let her stay away from the gambling tables. And it's red. Twelve. You've lost, madame. Again? I've lost? But I must win, I must, she says. Oh, look at her. She looks vile. All this on number one of on number one, number twelve. It has been winning all night. My luck will change. She was once very beautiful. She has lost everything, even her mind, the guy says. But number 12 lost night after night. Felicia's doom came closer. Here, my ring, this fortune on number nine. I will win back everything I've lost. Very good, madam. But Felicia continued to lose everything on the wheel of chain chance until please please monsieur my last ten francs on number three luck is with me I will win yet just this time old crone but if you lose don't come back here this is no place for the likes of you You've lost. Get out, hag. 
the customers are complaining go on the streets of Monte Carlo where you belong and stop offending us with your ugliness Whoa, look at that look at that yikes I've lost lost oh uncle come back take me in and shelter me Pierre Francisco Larry take pity on my loneliness they're gone all gone there is no one and so Felicia's destiny was complete upon the streets of Monte Carlo she fulfilled the mirror's prophecy alms have pity do not pass me by give arms and for luck how terrible she is let's hurry on darling they say she was once the most beautiful woman in monte carlo if that is true then she is one the fate has cursed 10 francs she gets 10 francs this thing's falling apart right we'll put this here and put it back in the bag the cursed castle there's a story but we're going to continue with our reading i'm loving the story oh is it the end that's it oh there's a the end here that's right i thought it continued i wanted to read it look at that below the 10 francs the end that was great that was great what a great story that was fantastic beautifully drawn wow 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 i got too excited and realized that was the last panel i was expecting the next panel to be her like jumping off a bridge or something <laughs> or i was actually to a certain degree i was expecting her first lover to find her and uh i don't know to show pity but maybe it was going to be revealed that he was her first lover oh wow or the person that we saw at the beginning right that was a great story that was a great story the cursed castle look at this one you know gang i think we're gonna to have to leave this last reading for another day i think that's what's gonna happen because we're well into our live stream oh man the high priestess spell of doom look at this let's just flip through it we're not going to read this one might as well leave us with a teaser right what fantastic that was a great story i love that story look at this one Oh, they break into uh, what do you call it? The burial ground. Right. And monsters come out. The curse it. Look at that. Oh, he turns into a werewolf type of creature like that. Look at that. Right? Oh, look at that. The transformation is complete, right? Look at that, he's there. Oh, and he converts back. This one was a happy ending. Look at that. This one was a happy ending. He converts back fun but we'll keep that for another day maybe another time another time another time fantastic that was a great read and we read the main story of this right very happy to have this and this is definitely in poor shape right <laughs> it's like falling apart 
I don't know if we can kick it any lower in terms of grade, but I think we did in this one, which is okay, right? Let's put this guy here, and we'll put this back in the, in the mylar. So let's set this up so it still looks good, and we'll put it back. Fantastic read for Halloween. Fantastic read for Halloween. Very cool, very cool. What did the mirror say? This is the way you really are and will eventually look unless you change. Right? Unless you change. I hope you guys enjoyed the reading game. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on uh, uh, the chat and my my video on the computer and stuff like this good reading it eh? fantastic and the chat pops up <laughs> that was a great read i really like that that story was like engrossing it just emerged you great reading she was so ugly she was so ugly from the even when she was beautiful from the outside inside it was vile and it just reflected her right eagles and cycling how are you doing hi how old is the oldest comic you have how old is the oldest comic i have i have comic from 1930s um ba -ba 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 -ba. yeah i have uh yeah 1930s i have not too many i might have like two or three comic books from the 1930s i got some from the 1940s uh, this is 1950 1951 1951 1952 uh, but a great reading great reading super fun let me put this here so the reflection is not as bad so we can still look at the cover and um, what we'll end up doing is uh, we'll uh, we're going to continue the reading for tomorrow and gang we looked at a whole bunch of comic books if you have anything if you saw this video if you have any favorites you want to read post it in our discord and we'll end up reading that but right now since we read this one i actually wouldn't mind reading let me find it where to go i actually wouldn't mind reading this one tales of horror instead of reading something more recent let's read so this is web of mystery number 10 it came out in 1951 this is tales of horror number 10 that came out in 1952 and I think this might have been 1952 as well so both within the same year right void hook loved it yeah me too and some of these olden age comic books a lot of these old golden age comic books man they're deep they have amazing uh storytelling abilities right just totally immerse you into the story modern comics as well all ages of comics really and this one looks amazing as well so let me know if uh, there's any books, any of the books that we looked at you would like to read and uh, we'll focus on that. I could definitely go for that for that uh, plan. Yeah, Cheryl, maybe we stick with that. We're just going to do Golden Age uh, horror comic book readings. Eagles and Cycling, very cool stuff, interesting. Although, the, uh, although comics have some origins in 18th century Japan, comic books were first popularized dispute discussed in the united states and the united kingdom during the 1930s yeah and it was before the 1930s it was the yellow kid i believe which was the first comic to have word bubbles in it the comic books uh previous to that would have description right and an illustration so they had descriptions and illustrations and i believe the yellow kid was the first comic book and i forget when it first came out i think 1894 or 6 or something like this that had word balloons inside the drawing and that's considered to be the birth of uh, the comic book medium or form i guess okay gang aside from that thank you for being here uh, sorry if the if we went beyond our time 
we're we're scheduled for two hours but i you know we spent a fair bit of time looking at the covers and what we had right uh and if you're if you're still around if you want to be here tomorrow for another comic book reading i believe we're doing it from 11 till 1 okay and maybe we'll do one on sunday i'm not 100 percent sure yet uh but we'll do one tomorrow for sure and maybe another golden age comic book okay but if there's people that prefer one of the other comics I showed, post it on Discord and we'll see uh, what people vote for. Okay. Aside from that, gang, I am on Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash Chicho, C H Y C H O. I don't put anything behind paywall. Everything's Creative Commons. Share and share alike. If you like this content, if you like this work, Patreon is a fantastic way to support this project. And for those of you who've been supporting this project through Patreon, Thank you very much for the support. We are live streaming on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Chicho Live, C H Y C H O L I V E. If you want to be here live during these readings and discussions and participating in the chat, Twitch is where you want to be at. I do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on LO Minds VK Parlor and Gab and Twitter. So you can follow the work there and we do share additional content. I do and I do upload live stream open discussions we have when there's no visuals onto soundcloud.com forward slash chicho chycho as podcasts and they should be available on your favorite podcasting platform. I'm off to assist the stranger. I don't want to get ugly. Okay, elder god. <laughs> I hope the stranger appreciates the assist. <laughs> and this video will be uploaded to both BitChute and youtube and if you want to support this work on those channels you can subscribe you can turn on notifications like share comment and if you're on youtube you can join youtube membership and the button should be here somewhere in the bottom of the page and for those of you who are supporting this work through youtube membership thank you very much for the support and gang on twitch thank you for our follows thank you for the subs mods thank you for taking care of business tomorrow one more reading at least okay hope you guys have a fantastic friday fantastic halloween tomorrow and uh we'll talk tomorrow we'll do another reading especially for halloween bye everyone